The camera portion of Power Apps is a lot more exciting if you're creating a mobile app. But let's set this up here in the browser so we can actually use this feature. So up here in the browser, so I'm using Microsoft Edge and I see a little video icon here. This page has been blocked from using your camera. So I'm gonna click on it. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna click on the option, always allow make.powerapps.com to access your camera. And I'm gonna click done. And there I am. Hello. <laughs> yeah, so I use a camera, a good video camera to record these videos. And I also have a web camera. So there you go. Uh, we're here in run mode. I'm gonna click on the X, get back into design mode. What does it say? It says to go to the, the camera control, edit its on select property. So I'll click on it again to make sure I have the, um, the control selected. I'll go up to action and then click on the on select. There we go, it says false. And it wants us to set, obviously set up a variable here. So picture and we'll say camera one. So down arrow to the, you find the item that I want and hit enter, camera one dot photo, ending parenthesis. So this will copy the current image captured by the camera into the picture variable every time the camera is clicked on. The image container is set to show the contents of the picture. Play and click on the camera image to capture the photograph. So I'm gonna hit run. I'll click on this. There we go. Let's do a better one. <laughs> How do you like that? Did you know this is a part of a 20 part series which goes over all the basics of Power Apps? And if you liked this video, chances are you'll wanna check out the other parts as well. Are you feeling overwhelmed with Power Apps? Do you feel there's just so much to learn and you don't know where to start? Lucky for you, Darren has the solution. Discover how you can get dense six months of Power Up struggles in just 90 minutes. Click on the link below to learn more about Darren's Power Up Deep Dive Masterclass.